Hello, and welcome to ProTrader Strategies Market Commentary for Friday, August the 26th. My name's Eric Wilkinson. Some of you may recognize me as the Wolfman from CNBC, Fox Business, or even the Wall Street Journal, where I've commented on everything from economic to geopolitical and market analysis. Please keep in mind that everything that we talk about in these daily market commentaries is not a solicitation to buy or sell any of these securities or strategies. At the end of the day, we're here to teach you some different strategies that you can implement into your portfolios, but please do that in your own way. The reason why I can't give you a recommendation on a particular stock or strategy is because I don't know your risk parameters. I don't know what's in your portfolios, and therefore what I'm doing could be counterintuitive to what you are already doing. Having that out of the way, let's get this on. Uh, not a whole lot of economic today, data today. We did get preliminary GDP came in line with expectations uh, and really no economic data has really affected the market today. We also got University of Michigan consumer sentiment came in line with expectation, maybe a bit slightly lower. That's not what's caused this market turnaround. We basically have in Jackson Hole, the uh, Jackson Hole Symposium. Janet Yellen showed up today. We also had Fisher speaking. Uh, the overall market reacted quite well, actually, to Janet Yellen's uh, speech. Pre, uh, It was uh, not a question and answers. It was already uh, pre-written, and she just kind of read off of her notes for the most part. But she basically said that uh, the September meeting wasn't necessarily going to raise rates, but there was the possibility and they were still data dependent, but left that on the table. The market actually rallied on that because I think the overall market thought, you know what, she's just kind of throwing that out there and not really giving us a whole lot. The economic data hasn't really shown a robust recovery. We're not seeing inflation. So the overall market kind of reacted to the fact that they likely were not going to raise rates, but it was on the table. Then we got, uh, Fisher speaking and he said that it was pretty much on the table and that he could likely see a rate hike in September and they were going to look at the jobs data uh, coming out next month. It comes out the first of the month so right before that meeting to really uh, see if they were going to raise rates and the overall market reacted quite negatively uh, and we'll get into the markets right here right now so let's do this. Uh, Crude oil, you know, was up quite a bit on the day, slightly higher, for the most part unchanged right here at uh, 47.35, 33 is basically unchanged, but uh, lower than it was on the open. We came up and tested that Fibonacci level uh, that I've talked so much about and repelled away from that. Kind of the timing was uh, in, in line with Fisher speaking. Then we got gold, gold. Uh, also has come off quite a bit, but up $2 on the day. Uh, as you can see, it tested yesterday's low, but uh, it's looking like the bulls are trying to hold this market up. The uh, bonds sold off quite a bit on the reaction that they might raise rates, so that's, that's uh, intuitive for what the bonds would do on something like that. And as you can see, they're down about a half a point on the day. This is the overall market. As you can see, NASDAQ down 16 on the day was well into positive territory, uh, but has lost a lot of steam. And we will show you here in a minute what it looked like during those uh, speeches. Uh, E-mini S&Ps forward slash ES down nine points on the day. And this is gonna be the breakdown of today's market action. This is the 15 minute chart on a daily basis. This is today, overnight, nothing really happening. Everybody kind of waiting for Janet Yellen to speak. This is on Janet Yellen starting to speak. Rather uh, uh, dovish, if you would. Uh, dovish means that they aren't going to raise rates. She was actually even talking about adding more uh, quantitative easing if we saw the economy start to slip. So the overall market reacted quite positively to her speech. And then right here is where we started getting Fisher talking and the overall market just slammed down. As you can see, we were trading at 2183 and are now uh, 20 points below that. So that was a big sell off in uh, just a matter of 45 minutes in the S&Ps. Then if we go in to look at the Dow, Dow Jones lost 100 points on that 
speech and very close to the lows of the day. As you can see, the lows here on the day are uh, 18, 18,350, let's call it. And right now we are trading just around the 18, uh, 18,370. So we could come back around, uh, sorry, eight, yeah, 72. So we've rallied back about 15 points on the day for that. But since that speech, it's basically a short starting to cover. Uh, the overall market just feeling very bearish right now. Only trade that I've done, and I actually did this yesterday, so you could probably do this a little bit better. I had on a short call spread in FedEx, just trying to do it uh, in the short term. They do have earnings coming up, so I didn't want to do it for a long duration. So I went into the September, and I originally had sold the 170 calls and bought the 172 and a half calls to create a short call spread in there. And I originally sold it for 88 cent, or say 88 cents. And that was just two days ago. Yesterday, we got the big sell off, talked about it being overextended, the upside, having that uh, triple top right there in the last three days. So it looked like a pretty good opportunity. Plus it was tweezer tops from back here in uh, April on the 19th. So that in line with that acted as a lot of resistance to the upside. So I sold that call spread and got lucky then, you know, two days later, the market just slammed down and was able to cover that for 40 cents. So I bought back that 170, 172 short call spread for 50, just better than 50% of my max profit, which is the goal on that. Today, we're gonna to be doing long call spreads in the webinar, so you can go to protraderstrategies.com and sign up for that. Even though we've had this massive sell-off, we're not seeing a lot of volatility expansion going on in these markets. So it could be short-lived, and that would be the opportunity to be buying these call spreads because as a contrarian, you know the time to take advantage of uh, something is when everybody else is legitimately panicking. So what we're gonna be looking at for this strategy is when you have a big sell-off, it gives you the opportunity to buy these call spreads for relatively cheap. So that's gonna be a good timing for that uh, strategy and the webinar. So go to protraderstrategies.com, sign up for that. Uh, I hope to see you guys all there. And if you can't take that, take it easy.